the time when we had the most horses was the best time for the Nespers people. The fortunes and misfortunes of the Nespers rid on the back of this animal. We have respect for all animals in our tribe. That's where they get their supernatural power from. This is a source of strong medicine. The horses have something that you can learn. When you are searching for this thing that you lost, a spirit that you might feel is gone, you look in the direction that you think is where it is. You just keep looking in that direction. It'll come to you. I'd read all my life about nest purses, how great a horseman they were. When I was 26 years old, I decided to move to where the nest purses are. They're horse people. I was selected to run the tribal horse program. I didn't think I'd get a job like this. It's like a dream. My value as employee to the Miss Purse tribe as a horseman is uh, my Navajo upbringing in Arizona. Everybody traveled on horseback back in the 60s. And I was lucky, man, I was lucky I was born when I was born. Because I got to live the last part of that. <laughs> All my learning from all my life, I applied it. When I learned about the old Indian ways of horsemanship. Uh, when William, when he was down in the Southwest, it's a good thing when Rudy came up from his country. And I sort of envy Rudy in being close to the horses as he is. I think that match is a good one. He's one that has the spirit and the heart for that. And maybe that's something that's been missing. If we don't have the spirit and the heart for caring for the horse the way the way our people used to. My father created the Nez Perce Horse Registry to teach young Nez Perce kids about horsemanship. Kind of get them back to their roots, the way things used to be before the war. Keep him hopping. Right there. Not that end. The other end. There you go. Let him do that all he wants. That's all right. No, don't go to another ring around his neck. Around his teeth. Put it around his teeth. 